Hello my friends, Tin Man here. Hello my friends, Tin Man here. It is hotter than snot licking Hades here. Mike says 105, earlier it said 100. I haven't had a chance to get it moving. But the radio station said it was 98 down in Atlanta. Bikes dropped to 103 now. Had to go in CVS to get my wife's medicine because I sat outside for 10 minutes and the car never moved. They don't have any help in there. It's ridiculous. Oh, you dumb shit going the wrong way on the turn. Good God, you idiot. Okay, it's 100 degrees. They had put up that uh, it broke the record today for Georgia. One hundred degrees. I know it's hot, like you step outside and you feel like you're in an oven. I don't know what the humidity is, but it's high. Definitely don't want to be outside or stop that red light. You want to be moving. Moving is just hot. gotten two of the response responses today it was like oh my god I can't believe you're on the motorcycle I said yeah I'm into suffering I know it well <laughs> I tell you what I really 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 feel sorry for are our police officers dressed in polyester uniforms and Kevlar wrapped around their upper bodies which is just like having uh, plastic sweats wrapped around your whole body because polyester doesn't breathe and Kevlar doesn't breathe. You almost need an IV in you running fluids the whole time so keep you from dehydrating working in these conditions in uniform. Unless you're lucky enough for a department that has got smart enough to change the cotton. Our, um, you, what we called utility uniforms that we could wear for part times and stuff like that were cotton. And so much cooler than the regular uniform. Oh, why police departments ever choose polyester? other than it's easier to upkeep because polyester like burns rapidly in a fire and we have situations where we are around fires ever so often you don't see firemen in polyester all their uniforms are made out of cotton blends because they are in fires <laughs> Think about officers that do rescues out of houses and stuff all the time. And you get around fire in that polyester and it's just going to melt and contour to your body. If you've ever, if you've ever burnt some sort of poly, you know, some polyester nylon stuff and seen how it shrivels and just, that's what one of the uniforms would do. Wow, about got that house done. Wow, that's nice. The, uh, yeah, so someday they're going to figure out a way, and they've come out with all kinds of different things for Kevlar vest. T-shirts that have ribs on it where it lifts it up above the skin, allowing airflow. The best thing is those uh, wicking T-shirts where your T-shirt doesn't stay soaked. A cotton T-shirt, once you're wet, you're just wet. You never dry out. 
those wicking Under Armour type material t-shirts. They wick the moisture and you, at least you get, you're dry. But they need some kind of refrigerant lines running through them to cool them. Because they are hot. I used to always tell myself, well, it's hot. I'm talking hot, hot, but not as hot as a bullet ripping through your chest. Of course, look at our Hall County deputy. His wound was just inch, just inch below his vest. Just an inch or so. Well, my friends, if you like this short rambling video <laughs> about how hot it is, click the thumbs up. Give it a like, please. If you're not a subscriber, click the subscribe button. A bell icon will appear, click it, and YouTube will hopefully notify you of when a new video of mine is up to be watched. Thanks for coming along on this quick, hot ride from the gym. <laughs> it would have been from the grocery store to the pharmacy, but this is from the pharmacy home because the battery that I changed out into my GoPro at home was dead. So I had to change it there at the pharmacy. So, 10 men say it. See ya.